Welcome to the Mathematics of Sharing Unit. In this video, we're going to be covering the fair division gains. And we're going to start off with talking about vocabulary and notation we're going to use throughout this entire unit. So let's say four friends bought a supersized ice cream sandwich to share amongst themselves. The players are those who are entitled to a piece of the goods. The asset or the goods is a thing that's being divided. And we're going to use a capital letter S to denote an asset. So let's say the asset was divided. The individual divided shares are notated with S sub 1, S sub 2, S sub 3, S sub 4 for the different shares. right? And if there were more players, there'd be more shares and we would just continue with that notation. right? So a fair share is any share that, in the opinion of the player receiving it, has a value that is at least 1 over n of the total value. So where n is the, the number of players. So for example, um, a fair share amongst the four friends would be 1 over 4, right? So at least 1 fourth would be a fair share. We can change that 1 fourth to a percentage by dividing and multiplying by 100%. So 1 fourth is the same as 25%. So getting at least 25% in the player's opinion would be considered a fair share. So we're going to make some assumptions about uh, the players when they're playing the fair share or for the fair division games. Uh, so let's say that we have knowledge of each of the players assessment of each of the pieces. So for example, Alma views the first share as being 15% of the total ice cream, um, and then the second piece being 30% of the total, the third piece being 20%, the fourth piece being 35%. So in Alma's view, share two and share four would be considered fair share because both of those are at least 25%. All right, and then this is Bob's assessment, this is Sia's assessment, and this is Dan's assessment. So the first assumption is that players act in a rational manner. So in other words, they have their best interests in mind. So for example, Anna would not want to choose share one because in her opinion, that's not a fair share because it's less than, it's not at least 25%. Players have limited knowledge about each other's value system. So we have the benefit of seeing this value system or the value system for each players, but then they don't have that knowledge. So Anna, nobody knows what Anna's views are for each of the shares. Nobody knows what Bob's is and so on. Only they know their own value system. The third assumption is that players are willing to abide by the rules and results of the method. So in the next sections, we're going to look at uh, methods to divide something, an asset, uh, fairly amongst players. And we're assuming that players are willing to abide by those rules and the results of the method. Assumption number four is that players are entitled to a fair share at minimum. So for example, let's say we, we divide the shares amongst the players and at the end, let's say Dan gets the second piece, the second share. Well, that's considered fair because in Dan's view, he received a fair share because a fair share is at least 25%. Even though Dan um, views the first share as being more, it would be fair if he got the second share. Likewise, if Alma received like the, the second share, that would be fair because 30% or that share in Anna's view is a fair share because it's at least 25%. Even though she views the fourth share as being um, a, a bigger share. So let's take a look at some problems to practice what we learn. So I encourage you to press the pause button to work out these problems yourselves. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first question says, what is a fair share value of a share if there are three players? So we know that a fair share is at least one over n, where n is the number of players. So in this problem, that's going to be one over three. So one third uh, would be considered a fair share, or at least one third is considered a fair share. 
we can change this into a percentage as well. So we know that we can change it to a percentage if we uh, divide it, right? So we can go one divided by three. So that gives me the decimal form. So I'm gonna multiply by 100. So the percent would be 33.3333 repeated threes percent, right? Or we can write this as uh, 33 and one third percent. Okay, so getting at least uh, one third or 33 and a third percent would be considered a fair share. So for the second one, second problem says, uh, what is a fair share of a share if there are four players? So that's gonna be one over four or one fourth. So if a player receives one fourth or at least one fourth in their mind or their opinion, then they've received a fair share. Again, we can change that to a percentage as well, right? We can go one divided by four and then multiply by 100 and that gives us 25%. So one fourth is the same as 25%. So if a player receives at least 25% in their opinion, and the four, if there's four players, then that means they received a fair share. And then finally, uh, with five players, that's one fifth, right? So if a player receives at least one fifth in their opinion, then they received a fair share. And one fifth is the same as 20%. And we can confirm that by doing one divided by five, and then multiplying by 100 to change it to a percentage. So that's equal to 20%, so at least 20%. All right, so let's take a look at number four. So problem number four says the following. It says, Hendry, Ku, and Tia are breaking up a partnership and dividing among themselves the partnership's real estate assets equally owned by the three of them. So take note, there's three people or three players. The assets are are divided into three shares, S1, S2, and S3. The table below shows the values of the shares to each player expressed as a percentage of the total value of the assets. So for example, Henry uh, views the first share as 20%, 25%, uh, the second share as 40%, and the third share as 35%. So what is fair share? Well, there's three players. So we know from, from previously that 33 and one third percent, at least 33 and one third percent is equal to a fair share, right? So fair share uh, is uh, at least 33, oops, 33 and a third percent. So for example, Hendry here would, would view uh, the second piece as fair share, because it's at least 33 and a third percent. Uh, he would also view the, the third share as um, fair share, because it's at least 33 uh, and one third. And then for Ku, Ku views the second piece and the third piece as fair share as well, because both of those are at least 33 and a and third. And then Tia views each of these as fair shares. So a question here says, uh, which of the shares are fair shares to Hendry? Well, we kind of answered that already, right? So that's going to be S2 and S3. And B is which of the shares are fair to Ku? We answered that as well. So that's going to be S2 and S3. And which of the shares are fair shares to Tia? So Tia views each of them equally. So any of the three shares would be fair shares to Tia. Question D says, find all possible fair divisions, uh, which is the best? So uh, let's go ahead and go with the best first. So for example, uh, notice how Hendry and Ku views the two, uh, share two and share three as fair shares, but then Hendry views, has a more favorable view of the second piece, and Ku views the third piece as more favorable. So it would be um, it would be the best if Hendry got so let's just represent it with H so H um, gets S two and K for Ku gets S three and Tia because Tia views them all the same Tia gets S one all right so that's one fair share. That's one possible fair division. Uh, another one would be the following. So another one would be if Hendry gets 
Oops. So if Hendry gets S3 and Ku gets S2 and Tia gets S1. All right, so that would be a fair share. Even though that's not the most, um, that's not the best one, it would be fair share. Why is that? Because Hendry views S3 as being a fair share and Ku views S2 as being a fair share and then Tia views S1 as being a fair share. So would there be any other possible fair divisions? Well, let's see. Well, what if uh, Hendry gets S1? Well, no, right? that, that wouldn't work. Or if Ku gets S1, that wouldn't work because they don't view um, S1, the first share, as being a fair share because it's not at least 33 and a, and a third percent. So that uh, concludes our video. In the next few videos, we're going to look at uh, methods to fairly share or fairly divide something so that it's fair to the players. Um, all right, so hopefully that was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions.